what's up? It's Sarah from Android Tools. Welcome back with another video. Today in this video, we're gonna take a look at the top 10 best FPS Android and iOS games of 2019. Five of them are offline and five online. So hopefully you'll find your best game in today's video. So now without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Starting at number 10, we have The Sun Evaluation. This game has nice graphics, features, and good controls. The story of this game is the sun that's allocated to a colossal amount of lethal energy which is detrimental to the Earth. Despite the fact that the crash blew everything from academics and ending with the psychics of the world government, they didn't want to listen to them. As a result, the planet global cataclysm occurred that claimed the lives of billions of people. A lucky few managed to survive and now they've set up their laws and started to gather in community. One of them was born the main character. Moving on to number 9, we have King of Warfare. This is a modern warfare domestic independent FPS game developed by Warfare Studio. The multiplayer online battle shooting game uses PBR material, HDR effects, ultra HD textures, real-time lighting rendering, and screen flare effects. Multiplayer mode randomly joins the six camps such as Delta Troops, Mercenaries, SEALs, Army, Special Police, Terrorists, and more than 40 kinds of modern weapons and players to experience the hearty battle. In zombie mode, you can use any weapon in your hand to kill a zombie army infected with a biochemical virus. Coming in at number 8, we have Huntercraft. You're a hunter of monsters and mutants that are infested with the post-apocalyptic world. Open World will provide a large number of locations in which you'll need to save the survivors, defend your home, fight for territory with other players, destroy zombies, perform tasks for a while, and other currencies. Your enemies are not only zombies and mutants, but they're also gangs in the games that are not averse to killing you and getting your loot. Try not to get too close to the zombies. You can get caught. Breaking away from the clutches of the monster won't be easy. Next up at number 7, we have Fatal Raid SEA Evasion. Fatal Raid is an FPS set in a world full of zombies. In this game, you have to fight against menacing zombies throughout an extensive single-player campaign. The game also has a bunch of multiplayer game modes like a classic team deathmatch mode and a survival mode where you fight against endless waves of zombies. The gameplay is very traditional with the D-pad on the left side of the screen and the camera controls on the right. You can also activate or deactivate an automatic shooting option. If you activate it, all you have to do is aim at the zombies and let your weapon do the rest. Moving on to number 6, we have Shooter Arena. Shooter Arena is a proper Overwatch or Paladin style hero shooter where you can select from nearly a dozen different characters to face other players in an exciting deathmatch style face off. The controls in Shooter Arena are very simple. With your left thumb, you can move your character, and with your right, you can point and use special powers. Your character always shoots automatically when your sights fall on an enemy. When you start playing Shooter Arena, you have just one character unlocked. That said, as you play and win chests, you can get many more characters for your collection. Moving on to number 5, we have Suicide Squad Special Ops. Special Ops is an endless survival high score chaser where you play as three characters from the movie Deadshot, El Diablo, and Harley Quinn. You're fighting against waves of undead humanoid monsters who are shooting assault rifles and hacking with axes. You can choose the order you play the characters, but as each dies, a surviving member of the squad immediately takes over. The characters have unique weapons and skills ideal for different types of attacks, and the game features robust and responsive melee and ranged combat. Next up at number 4, we have Return to Planet X. Return to Planet X is a single-player first-person shooter with a fantastic storyline to the Planet X and try to get through a secret laboratory that literally teems with beetles, monsters, and mutants. In general, the gameplay is made in the classic style for this genre, run and destroy enemies, collect improvements, and separately, it's worth noting that the excellent three-dimensional graphics and well-designed control, as well as a fantastic atmosphere. Many cool character skins are set to unlock, 
and use high-tech combat. Now, the Garena Studio has decided to jump on the mobile wagon with this free adaptation of the popular free-to-play shooter. The game is a miniature version of the original one, offering short online combats inside settings where up to eight players can face each other, either in 4v4 teams or other modes where each player is on their own. The common formula is that the rounds don't last more than five minutes. The classic melee profiles and support troops are included, so any fan of the genre will feel like a fish in water. Next up at number two, we have Modern Ops. Modern Ops is a multiplayer FPS that's clearly inspired by Counter-Strike, in which two teams, terrorists and anti-terrorists, face each other. Inside a medium-sized setting, your objective in each setting is always the same. Get a higher score than the enemy and get rid of as many rivals as you can. The main game mode in Modern Ops is very similar to the traditional Counter-Strike, where two teams have to face each other in order to get more points than their rivals. But just like in the traditional deathmatch games, you don't have to wait that long when your character is killed. And finally, at number one, we have Payday Crime War. Payday Crime War is an exciting multiplayer first-person shooter where you'll have to choose to become either a cop or a robber. Depending on which team you choose, you'll have one of two goals. The robbers are trying to break into a safe and the cops will do anything to stop them. Controls are very well adapted to touchscreen devices. Simply just move your character with a virtual joystick on the left side of the screen and fire your weapon with a button on the right. Also on the right side of the screen are buttons to jump, reload your weapon, and launch grenades. So that's it you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to join our family. Bye for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>